So, welcome to the first episode of 10 Minute Tea. The idea of this video is that, of course, I have a mug of tea here. It's a clear mug, which is absolutely brilliant because it means that we can use it as a liquid hourglass. Because, of course, these videos are going to be the same length of time uh, as it takes me to finish this mug of tea. So, you can kind of gauge, based on where the tea is sitting at, how long approximately the video is going to run for. Um, so at the moment, of course, we've got a, practically a full mug of tea and uh, we're going to hopefully be coming in around the 10 minute mark. Now, of course, you know my tendency to ramble and you know other things happen. It might be shorter than 10 minutes or it might be a little bit longer than 10 minutes. I'm going to try and keep these around kind of a tea break length um, because, of course, I'm going to be doing these videos in a tea break at about three o'clock. So, of course, I want to get back to, to doing work and things like that. Um, and, of course, keeping it to that length means that you guys, if you want to have a cup of tea with me um, and you want to do a tea break, it means that it's a nice length for that and it's not too much. It's not going over um, on your, your end of things either. Um, so in this first video, uh, maybe a few of you will be aware, I think I said it in the last video, uh, I was back at my parents' house for a few weeks, uh, I did retake up eBay, I was doing eBay for a few weeks, uh, I sold like 15 items on there or so, not crazy amounts, um, and I think I made in sales, this is about £230, I was happy with that, in fact I, I had made a little bit more than I thought. Um, for the amount of items I put on, I listed and all the rest of it, that was, uh, I was pretty happy with it actually. Um, and so I thought I'd share a few sales in this video. Um, and I had planned actually to do a few videos while I was back at home. I think I recorded that first video um, quite early on uh, in, in the sort of three or four weeks I was back at home. And I thought, you know what, this is a perfect time, exams are done, uni's out of the way, let's get a few videos recorded. But unfortunately, I became so engrossed uh, in the essays that I'm writing at the minute uh, that, that include remarkably highbrow concepts and all the rest of it. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. And I have been so focused on that that everything else had gone out the window and of course I was doing a little bit of eBay but that was about it and and doing a little bit of socializing where I could as well because I definitely needed that social time after all the uni stuff um, and so of course the the videos just that was it they they were no longer going to be a, a go really um, so now I can do the videos I can do a few videos um, and so this is what we're here for. So first off, I will uh, open up my phone and we will uh, look for a few sales. What I'll do is I will put them, you know, up here somewhere um, so then you can see them. I'm only going to share three sales with you today. Um, as I say, I didn't sell like loads or anything like that. Um, and there was a couple, there was one in particular in here that went for way more than I thought it would go for and it really caught me by surprise I thought wow that's uh, very very interesting so number one is this Lego Star Wars 75224 Sith Infiltrator Microfighter new and sealed and I got £13.50 plus post for that one I have had this for absolutely ages I believe I got it in a job lot somewhere and I put it away with my Lego investments, you know, that, uh, or, well, you may or you may not know, uh, but I do Lego investing and I've got, at the moment, I've got like, I'd say a medium, small to medium sized portfolio, certainly not a large portfolio, but a small to medium sized portfolio. And this was just sat in one of the boxes and I thought, you know what, I'll just whack that on. I'm whacking on a few of my, my other items um, and... I did have the intention of selling a few more uh, of the Lego bits than I actually end up doing. So um, I thought, you know what, I will whack this one on at least. And then I'll leave the other Lego items just to basically see if they accumulate any more value. Uh, there is actually, I've got at home, quite a number of uh, Lego Advent sets. So this Christmas, if I get time, it's always a struggle at Christmas because when I go back to my parents, 
I'm usually still doing uni work even over the Christmas period and then I've got Christmas to juggle so then trying to uh, you know sell things on eBay and all the rest of it and, and taking stock of my Lego and stuff uh, it is normally a little bit tricky but, but I might see if I can do that because I really do need to get those advent sets out they have been uh, hanging around for a few years now actually I think maybe maybe close to three years actually so anyway that was that one next is the sale that really really surprised me it's this Ben 10 action figure bundle I just put Kevin, Gwen, Cannonball those were the names I remembered um, and you can see there's I don't know, 25 figures roughly there, something like that. And I only, I honestly thought, because some of the condition of these figures weren't very good at all, and I thought, you know what, I might get 20 quid for them, I might get 25, maybe 30 quid for them, and they just went up and up and up, and I thought, what is going on here? I didn't think these figures would be worth it. Maybe in better condition they'd be worth 40 quid or something like that on auction, but yeah, I got 67 quid plus post for these, so I was more than happy with that. Um, I don't know the exact cost of these, of course. With being at uni and stuff and not doing reselling, all of the ideas of prices that I paid for things have gone out the window now. I, I, I don't know, but these will have been in a job lot for, uh, at some point. And likely I will have got my money back on that job lot anyway. So if they've cost me anything, they probably haven't cost me anything, but if they have, uh, it'll only be a small amount. And I'd probably be shooting high at something like, saying 10 quid. Um, so yeah, there'll be some good profit on them. Next is this Doctor Who 18 Modern Figures bundle. Again, I've just thrown some names in there. Again, some of the conditions on these weren't the best. Uh, you can see I got £13.50 plus postage on these. I had hoped maybe these would go a little bit higher. I did note, of course, with those conditions, with the condition not being that great on some of them, that maybe I wouldn't get quite as much as I was thinking. I didn't do buy it now on things because I was only back for a certain time period at, uh, at my mum and dad's. And I, uh, I thought, you know what, uh, it's best to do auction, get that quick turnaround, get those kind of, in a sense, guaranteed sales, and then, of course, get them out, and then know that when I come back to Bangor, uh, you know, I've, I've got everything sorted, and I've not got things that, that are kind of have not sold, or maybe that uh, I would have liked to have left on there, would have liked to get sold, but, but they hadn't in that time period, so... Yeah, so uh, I did that on auction, and uh, to my detriment, maybe, uh, because I didn't get quite as much as I would have liked. You know, not too much less, but but not quite that uh, slight little bit more than I would like. So that's the sales anyway. Oh, it's a few of the sales that obviously I'll share in this video. We're already at eight minutes. I've not even drank this cup of tea, so we're going to have to start um, thinking about how... I can talk and drink a cup of tea at the same time, so we come in at around 10 minutes, but, but we'll see. I should probably say as well how I like my tea, so you can probably tell I like it fairly strong. I'm drinking Yorkshire tea. I really like Yorkshire tea. I used to drink, um, I had a long, long time off tea, like... Um, for one, there was a, a long time that I was drinking coffee and no tea, and there was a long time that I didn't drink tea or coffee. So, um, really, when I say I used to drink PG tips and things like that, or other brands of tea, this was going back ages ago. But I really, really love Yorkshire tea. I think it makes it an excellent cup of tea, and I don't think there's many others that kind of rival it in... I don't know, I want to say taste, I want to say just the, the general taste you get from it. Um, I really do want to try Yorkshire Tea Gold, but it's about £4 or something per pack, and that is quite a lot, I think it might even be more than that, um, but I am going to try it at some point. Also, I don't know whether I said, but I have one sugar, I actually have sugar cubes in the other room, so I suppose it's one sugar cube. I guess they measure them out based on... A teaspoon or something so it's probably around a teaspoon um, and yeah that's that's basically a little bit of my tea drinking habits I do have biscuits I really like um, the German biscuits you know the German biscuits that you get with a layer of chocolate on and then they've got, they've got a layer of biscuit underneath and then a layer of chocolate 
not malted milks or anything like that. I'm not too keen on those, but the uh, they're like kind of, in a way, they're a bit artisanal. They're a bit kind of uh, uh, something special. I mean, they're not actually that expensive, but. Uh, sometimes you can get them for as low as a quid so it, for a pack so it's not really that bad but uh, they are a bit art artisanal and, and I really like them I really like the um, firmness of them and I really like I know this is gonna sound so technical but I really enjoy biscuits when the chocolate to biscuit ratio is nice so I, I've been searching for a chocolate to biscuit ratio that I can get behind so, there's this one brand of biscuit, I think it's called BN, the brand, no, not BN, no, that's another one. LU, the brand is LU, it's like a German one, not BN, that's a different biscuit. Um, so, LU, and it's got a little figure of a kind of like old style man, probably like a Renaissance man, sort of like 16th century or so, 15th century. Um, although I would have to double check on the box. Uh, but anyway, nice little figure of a man on there, and uh, it's a nice biscuit. It's a little bit crumbly, and I know I'm nitpicking when I say it's a little bit crumbly, but it is a little bit crumbly. And uh, the other biscuit I like, I don't know how to say the name of the brand, because I don't know the name of the brand. It's, it's some sort of German name. And it's in a blue pack, and it's a blue rectangular pack, and they are a little bit firm for me. They're quite crunchy in a sense that, you know, when you bite them, they're, they're very firm. The chocolate is quite nice on them. Again, there's a nice... Bin. It sounds so funny saying it, but a nice biscuit-to-chocolate to ratio. And uh, I do like them. They're just produced with a level of attention to detail that you don't get with other biscuits. I sound like I'm some sort of comedian, you know, you know when the co comedians do do these kind of uh, food uh, things where they're talking about biscuits or they're talking about uh, uh, pastries or something and they're, they're adding humour to it. I sound like one of them, I'm not intentionally doing it, it's just I like these things as they are. So um, anyway, so that's what I sometimes have. And uh, uh, what I will have to be aware of, we're 12 minutes now, so I'll have to start drinking. So, um, the other thing I want to mention, I don't know whether I mentioned it or not. I don't, I don't know what I've mentioned, what I haven't mentioned. But yeah, if I haven't mentioned it, I will take comments and questions down below for future episodes. So if you've got any comments and questions, leave them down below. Uh, it can be on anything, it can be philosophy, psychology, uh, you know, reselling stuff, if I can answer it, I will, if I can't answer it anymore, I won't, because obviously I don't do reselling the same, um, investing stuff, uh, or, it, you know, it can be anything, um, what I'm going to do as well, I don't know whether, I, I don't think I did mention this at the start, is uh, in the next episode, what I want to do, I, what I've wanted to do for a while is go back through the reseller videos and I want to check in on people, I want to see how people are doing, all that sort of stuff. I've just simply not had time to do that at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go back through uh, some of the resellers videos, maybe George and Nick and Steve and people like that um, and uh, you know, see who's about, see what the reseller community is doing at the moment and then I'll have a bit of a chat about that in the next episode. Uh, in terms of the frequency of these episodes, it will probably be something like two a week. Uh, I can't see me doing any more than that, so uh, that'll be the kind of um, the frequency of, uh, of when I'll upload these videos. Um, and, it, and as I say, it will just be kind of like a tea break and we can have a chat. And, uh, and obviously you guys, as I say, can get involved down in the comments. Uh, so that being said, we're, we're about we're, we're getting halfway now. That's that's pretty good. We're, we're getting there. Oh, I just wanted to state as well. Um, obviously, on the psychology end, I thought to myself, well, literally just then, but but earlier on as well, that what I might do is 
do some, uh, like, share some dreams or something like that, or uh, talk about some things like that, you know, um, because I think that's interesting, and I would like to discuss certain things like that, so if anyone has any, uh, you know, interest or any, um, uh, I suppose, information or anything that you'd like to put in the comments concerning that sort of stuff, um, then let me know. Uh, it's not going to be like me talking about how to interpret dreams because despite my reading and despite being uh, at least partially qualified in a sense to talk about that uh, with, you know, with, with just the the knowledge I've, I've attained over the course of a, a couple of years or three years or so, um, it's not going to be that because I don't really feel like that is a good thing to do. Personally, my own philosophy on dreams is that the dream, and, it, and it's the same as, as what Jung thought, because it's the dream as very personal to the individual. So, yes, although you can say something in a dream represents this, it doesn't always represent that thing universally. It doesn't just, you know, a bin for one person might represent something different for another person because there might be something on that bin, like a label on that bin in a dream that means something different to one person as to another or that it's personalised, that bin is in somehow personalised to that person's uh, psyche, shall we say, and their memories. So, you know, I'm not going to do that, but, uh, you know, potentially I I'll do some chat on dreams and things like that um so that's something i also wanted to mention so it's just going to be a bit relaxed a bit chill we'll just do as we see fit um and and we'll we'll just ease into this and see see where we go but you know what it occurs to me i think that it probably normally takes me longer to drink a cup of tea because i feel like I'm almost uh, forcing the tea down. Maybe it's just because I'm talking so much and then I'm not... I need to work on... Time management has never been my thing, but I need to work on having the sips of tea nicely throughout the video so then it feels like, ah, right, I've got to about 13 minutes now, finish my tea, great. Um, so we'll, we'll see if we can get to that, but but I don't know, there's, there's little hope in that. I love the end of a cup of tea as well because it's like slightly darker and there's kind of, you've got a little bit, I suppose there's a little bit of loose tea at the bottom in a sense and it's a really nice little last bit when you get to it so I always enjoy the last bit. Mm. And there's like a, a little bit more of a tang at the last bit, especially with Yorkshire tea. But there's a little bit, a little bit more strength, a little bit more tang, and then boom, finish, and it's mmm, nice. Anyway, so that'll <laughs> that sounded so weird, and it's like finish, nice, boom, right. So um, I will leave it there for this one, uh, and I will see you in the next one. So I will see you in the next episode of Ten Minute Tea.